Hello fellow Detroit Tigers fans and I know a couple days ago a very very unpopular trade occurred for the Tigers when JD Martinez was shipped to the Arizona Diamondbacks for three infield prospects a third baseman Dowell Lugo a shortstop um, Sergio Acantera and a um, shortstop right now but possible second baseman in um, uh, Jose King I believe his name was um, my personal opinion, I don't mind the trade. Yes, it sucks that JD's gone, but he, the Tigers are not good. They needed to make a trade. If JD would have left in free agency, because the Tigers cannot afford to resign him, if they didn't sign Justin Upton, they could have, but they unfortunately cannot resign JD. So the best they would have got is a fourth round pick, which isn't horrible, but it's not great um at all either now the three prospects they got back are not like top prospects but the diamondbacks are going to only have jd martinez for a couple months really so a rental player for three prospects it's not horrible it's not great but it's not the worst thing ever either lugo's the closest to the majors he's a double a right now uh playing mostly third base so, and Alavila said he could be a starting third baseman. So what's that mean for Castellanos? Possibly a move to first or maybe even the outfield. Or does that mean that he might be traded? Doubtful, but it's a thought. Uh, Lugo has some power to him. Probably not like 20 home run power. Probably like maybe like 10 to 12 home runs a year. Um, and he's a decent defender as well. Now, uh, Alcantara is a very similar player to Jose Iglesias or Dixon Machado. Not great with the bat, but they can steal some bases. He's a good base runner, and he's a very good defender with a very strong throwing arm. And he plays shortstop. So, very, very similar to uh, Dixon Machado or Jose Iglesias. King, the young one that wasn't even ranked on any of the prospect list um yes he's at rookie ball and you probably already heard that he's 18 at rookie ball gonna take a long time to get to the majors but what i was thinking of he might be similar to willie ademis the young uh former tigers uh shortstop prospect that moved through the farm system rapidly he was already at like lakeland at like age 20 or so and now he's with tampa bay because, of course, traded. And he's, like, number 16 on MLB.com's top 100 list. And I think King's pretty similar. King has, is probably the fastest player in the Tigers' farm system, possibly even faster than Derrick Hill. So, and he's a decent defender. Um, he's probably going to hit a little bit, not a ton of power, uh, as of right now at least. But I see him being very similar to uh, Willie Ademis. So, hopefully that comes to fruition. Uh, we needed to get something for JD. I don't mind this deal. Like I said, I don't like JD being gone. Uh, but Tigers needed to do something. They got three decent prospects in the deal. Uh, we're going to more than likely see Justin Wilson and Alex Avila gone very shortly. Maybe even Justin Verlander now since the Tigers said that they would include some money. Uh, so, that's... A very real possibility that Verlander could be traded, but JD being traded, great player, but he was only going to be a Tiger for about another two months, two and a half months, and the Tigers could not bring him back. They would not be able to afford him, unfortunately. So getting three somewhat decent prospects out of the deal is not a bad idea. You might have your starting third baseman down the road and shift Castellanos over to first, possibly, uh, with Miguel Cabrera going to DH um, after after Victor leaves. You, and you might have your double play combination of Alcantara and Dixon Machado in a couple years when Iglesias leaves after 2018. You could have um, third base of Dawa Lugo, your shortstop Dixon Machado, and your second base Sergio Alcantara. Or Alcantara. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, unfortunately. Um, so that's pretty good right there. And then in a few years, King could be up. And 
the positions these players play right now, Alcantara more than likely is probably going to shift over to second, but Lugo and King could possibly play uh, certain other positions. With King Speed, he could probably even play center field, so I uh, might not even see them at their current positions, but we will see down the road. I don't mind this prospect package. They might not have been able to get too much more because there was only really one other team really trying to get JD, and that was Cleveland. Are the Tigers really going to trade to Cleveland? Probably not, unless Cleveland blew them away with a deal. So, yes, JD is gone, and that really sucks, but I do not mind the trade. And um, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions down below. Folks. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my content, why not subscribe? And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.